Hello and welcome to Ugly Goblin Plays Trackmania, and this is Good Morning Trackmania! Today we will be talking about the history of Trackmania, including my history, especially of Trackmania. I started playing the first game of Trackmania back, I don't know, back in 2015 or something. 2015. <laughs> Whoa. And then 2005. It makes more sense. And I really loved that game. I especially remember that they had this, had this mode where it was kind of a puzzle mode in the racing game where you had to build the most optimal track to. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you had to set the fast slap as possible. They also back at that time had. The gold medal system where you can get bronze for a fairly decent time, actually a fairly bad time, in my opinion. <laughs> and we get silver for a decent time and gold for a good time. I can't remember if they had green time back in the day. I don't know if that was first the first came with sunrise or whatever. Sunshine, sun, sunrise. It's called sunrise. Okay, great. But yeah, in my opinion, that was a it, it was pretty good game, but not really that crazy. They tried something new that no other racer games had done, especially with the easy to build tracks and they had a puzzle game that I told just talked about because that really made people familiar with how to build tracks in this game. And then, yeah, a couple of years later, they released Sunrise. I didn't really play that game. But I don't know if it was that game that had stunts in it. You, you know, just only stunt game, only a stunt thing. I don't know what I'm saying. But they had a specific stunt mode in one of the earlier games where you competed on points instead of competing on time. But they completely dropped that mode, just like the puzzle mode, which I'm kind of sad about. I really love that mode. That was probably the reason why I really began playing it. But then, then when they released the free version Trackmania Forever in 2006, that's when I really began playing this game. I remember coming home from from school on a week-long break, and we didn't have internet at the school I was going to, so. See, that's not entirely true, but we didn't have it in our rooms, so we had to go home to really get the internet. And so when I went home, I saw, oh, there's a Trackmania game stream. I want to try and play this. And so the first couple of days, I played on Danish servers, and for, I think on the second day, I began, began dominating that server, so it was like, no. This cannot be true. I don't want to already dominate this game. So I went onto the international scene. And after a couple of days on the international scene, I began to pretty consistently be in the top three on the servers. And that was really a good feeling. But then at the end of this was a seven day long week. So at the end of this week, I had to go back to school and I couldn't really play the game competitive online, so instead I just had to play the normal maps. That I guess that was when I figured out hey, they have actually included this green time, the netio time, or however you want to pronounce it, I'm not French. Pardon my French. Uh, this is a very close match, but it always is on this track. And I'm not as fast as I really would want to be, but okay. Then, uh, yeah, th then I got home from school and I didn't really start playing again. I maybe have I played this game on and off for such a long time, but not really intensely. And I'm not even playing it intensely now. But we let's then just move on to the Trackmania. Two, which is 
I don't know, I always felt like Trickmania have been weird in this. They just want to release many games with just different kind of themes. And I want, whew, oh, I'm almost in the top half. Uh, but they just want to release different games and different environments. And that to me is just a bit irritating because it feels like it splits up the community. But I bought Trickmania a Canyon because hey, it's Trickmania and I love it. But then I never went on to buy the two other games in the two in in the second game, Stadium and Valley. I never really wanted to buy them because it just felt like a waste of money to have to buy two more games to play the same game almost. Oh yeah, I've actually forgot about the Trackmania update for the free-to-play game, the Trackmania Forever. I also played that quite a lot, but I was so far down the ladder that I never really saw it fun in competing. I don't know if they reset the ladder. That's kind of irritating. But then, this year, finally, they released a new game after a four-year drought. From Trickmania releases. They finally released this game, which is kind of which were meant to be the console release, I guess. And I think that's why that's not a lot of people playing on PC. I feel a bit like it. But <laughs> I'm sorry, I just had to come there. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. I really, I kind of like it because it's finally a release where you get all game modes for in one game, and that's what I really needed for a Trackmania game. But I guess a lot of the Trackmania Two Stadium players actually haven't bought this. A lot of people, including me, probably fell in love with the game, the, the more Formula One inspired car instead of this more road car -ish inspired not so much the road car but kind of a racing road car is what it looks like to me but this game of course it also lacks all of the cool stuff from the other <coughs> sorry <coughs> I'm so sorry but it also lacks the other cool things from Trickmania too oh, how Oh, I'm not starting. I know my I lost a lot of time to that, didn't I? Yeah. But yeah, as I was trying to say before, I rudely interrupted myself. This game is missing a lot of the cool things from the other Trick Media games, such as customizing your own car, and you know, so you can get crazy weird men running weirdly <clears throat> as a car you know that's kind of sad who beat me oh two beat me i'm not that good at this but it distracts me uh yeah but it also feels like this game is suffering from not enough maps right now i'm playing a standard map and this is like what is it two three months into the release of this game this is kind of why I was concerned because I was like yeah there must be a lot of custom maps now I mean everybody must be playing custom maps but no that has not happened and that's that's happened to me because Trackmania is all about custom it's all about user created content in my opinion that's what, what the real, real charm of the game is. I remember back in the day, on the old servers, there was a lot of fun maps, as they were called. Which were just, you know, a 10 second long map where you had to done, dip, you had to do some kind of crazy technical maneuver. That to me was probably the best thing. But also, I'm happy that. I wouldn't like to play the, that all the time, it's, it's a great break from these longer maps, can I just, yeah, 
Fantastic. Whoa. That's why we close. But this is also one of the things that I love about checking in. It's always extremely close at the top. You really have to pull off the greatest laps to be able to compete. Luckily, even though not a lot of people is playing this game, the competition is still very much real. Even though I'm playing on this server, right now, it's like 10 o'clock in the morning right now. Yeah, so not a lot of people is playing at this time, but but there's still not a lot of people on. I think if you wanna buy a Trickmania game, I would probably recommend Trickmania 2 uh, Stadium, right? I think a lot of I think a lot more people are playing that on PC. I don't actually know if Trickmania is going to use that new what is it cross-platform thing. I kind of hope to. It would be great to have some more players to play against. Ah, good job, Tux1 million. Good job. But this will be it for this episode, and thank you for watching. Bye bye.